How's it going everybody? So I once again want to talk about bashes. I briefly mentioned some of the things in a previous video where I explained some minute differences between bashes of the same type that make some of them a bit more effective than others. But I want to go into further detail about bash based offense itself, how the community perceives it and at the same time despises attack based offense, aka the hypocrisy of hate on fast attacks. And yes, I will say things a lot of people don't want to hear, but as with most things in life, what you want to hear and what you should hear are different things a lot of the time. So let's all be honest here for a second, who hasn't said the sentence, can you do anything but bash, at least once while playing this game, we've all done it because we've all experienced it. A player that exclusively uses the bash to get damage in and while it is, most of the time at least, the most effective way to attack, it is looked down upon by the community. Use your other mix-ups. Oh boy, I will make an entire separate rant about how this community uses the term mix-up, but that's for another day. Fact of the matter, if you have a working bash, you have working offense against the vast majority of the player base. Moves that require a dodge to defend against are somehow the hardest to deal with. Why do I say somehow? Well, because the reaction time required to press the correct button isn't shorter than defending against similar, quote unquote, normal attacks that can simply be blocked. I've mentioned this before, but the fading in indicator makes the reaction time required a little vague. A 500ms bash requires a 333ms reaction to dodge. That's exactly the same time required to block a neutral 500ms light, something pretty much everyone, regardless of platform, is able to do. Now, we have multiple reasons why it's actually not the same. As mentioned, the indicator is fading in, you can see an example in this video here. We still don't know whether dodging is considered an offensive action and thus has an additional 33 millisecond input delay. We know it did, way back when, but I've asked Yubi like 5 times now and never got an answer. I don't even know if that 33ms extra input delay is still a thing, after how often they've changed how their stuff works. But maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Another reason might be keybinds, I reckon most controller players use the standard button layout which means that they have to move their right thumb from the right stick to the dodge button, and those extra milliseconds are why they dodge too late most of the time. I've looked for research papers in regards to reaction times depending on dominant and non-dominant hand but as those were mostly inconclusive or not really applicable to our game, I can't say for sure whether your dodge button having to be pressed with your non-dominant hand if you change the keybinds is a major factor. I'd say we can disregard it as a 3 to 5 ms difference seems to be negligible in most cases. Well, fact of the matter is, for a lot of players, fast bashes are unreactable and thus they hate them. But then you see a huge part of the community have Warden as their favorite character and in general be totally okay with his offense. I might be oversimplifying the feeling towards the character, but no one can argue that he isn't the most liked hero that we have. We even had a season with 20% pick rate in duels. Just think about this number. Or just play ranked duels. My point here is that Warden's bash is different. The whole mix-up is completely unreactable, even to the biggest Adderall Gremlin out there. Yet, if a Warden only uses level 1 charge against you, then even the biggest brainlet can easily avoid it. On the contrary, if a Conqueror or Black Prior did the same to that chromosomatically uneven person, then the complaints would start flying, because Warden's bash in isolation is reactable, but for the faster bashes, even if he knows they are coming, he will have a harder time defending against them. Case in point, both of these moves require a read on that person's side to defend against it, but one is considered worse for whatever reason. But if the Black Prior or Warden had thrown out a light instead, he would have instantly parried it. Which brings us to the next point. Most bash based offense can only be punished with a dodge attack or with a read. This obviously depends on the type of bash, is it a fast one, is it feintable, can you soften it, yada yada, you've played the game. Fact of the matter is that the risk of throwing out a bash and being punished for it is smaller compared to throwing out an attack that will potentially be parried. So not only are normal attacks easier to defend against, they also carry much higher risk. Against some characters the potential damage of a light pales in comparison to the light parry punish damage of some heroes. Reactable, highly punishable offense against, for the bigger part of the player base, unreactable offense that requires a read to punish. 
Now, why would anyone not want the latter? At the end of the day, we want to play the game. We want to press buttons and not stare at each other. A huge complaint we also hear. Why is that guy not attacking me? Why is he only staring at me? Well, you all know the answer. It's not a secret. Hasn't been a secret for a long time. But now here we are. We were allowed to test attack-based offense. Yeah, testing rounds allowed us to attack and not have to fear to immediately eat 40 damage because we dared to press a button. I've covered the testing round changes at length. I don't need to repeat myself here. Yet we still saw massive pushback from parts of the community. Somehow we can't have unreactable attack-based offense. Uh-uh, not allowed. Everyone just presses lights now, despite that not working, and multiple people showed it, but as usual, large parts of the community are informant retardant and or allergic to facts. They've made up their mind without even having scratched the surface of it all. But you can't educate all, it's not possible, I became painfully aware of this during the years of making content on this channel. But this makes the whole dilemma even worse. You can't have it all. You can't be uninformed, all the while complaining about fast attacks and at the same time about people staring at you. And no, I'm not making this up. And no, these aren't necessarily completely different parts of the community. No, no, you're not allowed to bash me, but you're also not allowed to throw fast attacks at me. So now you're staring at me? What the fuck is this kind of logic? Everyone who advertises for reactable offense is part of the big problem that plagues this game. It does not work, neither on a gameplay level, nor does it work in the tiny heads of the people that demand it. You will be able to see this in the comment section of this video as well. We're going to have people that pull the straw man argument, but none of them will actually be able to argue their point. And yes, I'm egging you on here. Reactable offense does not work, because reactable is a relative value which does not mean the same to everyone. We've seen it, we've experienced it. It's time to just have offense, and not bash based offense, and then additional attacks that might hit every now and then. Thanks for watching. Later, everybody. Oh, they're gonna revive the Tiandi that I just killed. No, they're not. Yes, they Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Catapult kill 2k20. Imagine dying <laughs> <to> catapult. <laughs> Alright. Imagine uh, some. Uh oh, funny. Oh, that was we bowl us use. What the? Oh. He's resin. Oh, I Over some mid can have some shield. Ow. I am entirely stuck. Hogfish. You lost Oh, of course. Oh my god, <laughs> we'll do it live. You capture zone A. I'm sorry, Batman. I'm surprised there hasn't been a Reddit post about how you're a toxic world gamer. Yet. Yeah, they call him a toxic Yeah, yeah, there was one. Oh, there was? Sick. Uh, the cult are really talked to all the ledges and the brawls, remember? Oh, well, that doesn't count. I mean, I mean a real... anything. Wait, did the... What did the Goki die from? Uh, didn't he just fire flask? Oh, was he? Okay. We both fire flask, so I think he just exploded. But yeah, that doesn't count as a real post. I mean, one about this map.